What's up guys, welcome back to another Paladins video. So Grover is a pretty weird character right now. He has received multiple buffs, but nothing is really doing it for him. And honestly, I don't think any buff would do much for him outside of just going on ahead and blatantly making him overpowered, which is obviously not going to happen. Getting him into that nice spot of being viable and also not being overpowered seems like it can only be done by doing something drastic to the character. Now, he's not bad. I actually really enjoy using him personally. He's just not all that great. He's got small passive healing to those around him, a good burst heal in Blossom, and a really good burst heal in his ultimate. He's also pretty bulky. Most of him really shows that he's an in-the-fight kind of support, especially since his healing abilities are all close range. He even has his vine to quickly bring him in closer to get that healing off. This is sort of where the problem lies with him. He's an up-close character, but his primary attack rewards you for being far away because the farther away you are from a target, the more damage your primary attack is going to do upon landing. So his primary attack completely contradicts his playstyle. Now, he wasn't always like this. He was actually originally designed very differently. He wasn't even a support. He was a tank. If you look at this footage from his ability reveal trailer, you can see that Grover's primary attack was a melee attack that did more and more damage the more you hit a target. His blossom also damaged enemies as well as heal allies when activated. His ultimate was even different. It was more like its name, a whirlwind of melee attacks. The primary attack he has now was also his secondary attack back then, taking the place of his crippling axe. This Grover design made a lot more sense and really fit his playstyle. Nothing was really out of place like it is now. Sure, you still had the long range attack, but it wasn't his only attack. So if this fit him so well, then why did they decide to change it a while ago? Well, from my understanding, it was hard to balance a melee champion in Paladins. Grover was either too weak or too strong. He couldn't really close gaps to melee very well, so they buffed him up by giving him more movement. This made him too strong. After this experience, they wanted to avoid having a full-on melee character. They now favor having shorter opportunities to melee more, like Makoa's ult, for example. If you look back at the game when Grover was like this, the maps were pretty big. The only small, more melee friendly areas were the ones around the point. Outside of it were these big open spaces, so I could easily see why trying to bounce a melee champion in that environment was pretty hard. For most of the map, his up close melee attack wasn't any good unless you went ahead and gave him that movement buff. If you look at the maps now though, they're a lot smaller and more compact. There aren't really these big open spaces anymore. I really feel like if they made it so Grover had his primary melee back and they made the ranged attack his secondary again over his crippling axe, then he'd be in a much better spot and he'd feel way more well-rounded again. That way he could still be in the fight, healing, while also feeling rewarded when using his primary attack. They don't have to make his melee attack get stronger with every hit if they feel like giving him back his melee attack would be too strong again. They also don't have to give him that movement again or revert the changes to Blossom or his ultimate. Having the healing version of Whirlwind on top of the healing from Blossom makes him feel much more like a support and keeps him from feeling like Pip in the sense that he just feels like another role with a heal ability slapped onto him. Not that anything is wrong with Pip though. I'm sure it takes some testing and tweaking, but with how Grover plays now, I think this is the only way to really make him viable while maintaining the way he's currently meant to be played. I really think they could make it happen. He also has about a thousand less health than he did back then, and the game was so different from how it used to be. Trying out Melee Grover in this new environment could go well and end up doing wonders for the character. It may even open up the devs' minds about Melee characters in the future. Maybe something like this could be done with the upcoming Season 1 update, which is apparently going to fix a lot of long-standing problems with the game. Grover not being very viable is something I think counts as long-standing and has been a few months after all. I just really want to see Steroid Groot over here put in some work again and not be this weird out of place character that isn't even considered at high levels of play. What do you guys think? And that's pretty much it guys. I want to thank you all for watching. I very much appreciate it and I'm going to see you guys later. Bye! Sleep away, do you